Hey Gemini, welcome to your October reading. My name is Victoria from VX Prada. This is going to be a reading for Gemini placements. So if your sun, moon, rising, or Venus sign is in sign of Gemini, these messages are for you. Um, I've just filmed for uh, your next 70 readings over on Patreon. Actually, I'm going to film air sign either today or tomorrow, so keep an eye out for that. Um, but yes, I have my readings my personal readings i've discounted all the pricings for it so if you've been thinking about booking with me you want to support me because it's my birthday month um yeah you can check out the link in the description box below i'm so appreciative of your support i'm a bit low energy today so don't mind me i just wanted to make sure i came through for my gemini fellow gemini friends okay so let's get into it we do have something interesting taking place this week we do have jupiter which is currently in the sign of gemini um, retrograde starting very soon. I forget what date. I think it might be October 12th. I'm not sure. If someone can just confirm that in the comments below. Um, very interesting. So definitely check out what house your Gemini placements are in because that would be the house that is most lit up and most affected by uh, Jupiter retrograde at this time. Okay, let's get into it, Gemini. Let's just start right, get right into it. Let's see what is coming up for Gemini in the next... Um, next month okay so october what's coming up for gemini this october please spirit what is coming up for gemini oh my gosh i'm so low energy it's ridiculous but i'm gonna do my best because i love you guys and you know we're here we're here so let's we might as well okay we have the sword and rose and it reads clarity truth re revelation solidarity force honor protection power i was gonna say when it said revelation i was gonna say reconciliation so i feel as though the truth is going to come out regarding something or someone someone may be like revealing this about themselves they may be speaking to you and coming clean about something so that's what i'm picking up on the most and you may be reconciling with this person okay but you're going to get clarity or closure surrounding something you're going to understand why things were the way they were why someone was acting that way why someone did what they did or you're also going to understand why something just did not align up until now this could be love related is what i'm getting okay we have cassette which is outdated thinking so i feel so that plays into you like realizing certain things from the past because you're going to be replaying events in your head and conditioning okay so some of you are going to be making up your mind about something breaking free um from old thinking i also feel so for some this pertains to like your parents your upbringing uh, interestingly enough you could be i mean we're all challenging the way our friends family um parents we're all challenging the way they grew up and what they think is like the way things work and things are anyways um but there's just something here about you challenging what you thought about yourself or someone's challenging anyways there's something or someone is challenging someone's way of thinking Okay, so some of you could be experiencing a lifestyle change real soon because I know how you get when you're like inspired, you have this epiphany, you have this new revelation. Anyways, okay, we have healing heart. So I love that at the bottom of the deck for the overall energy, healing vibes, okay? Healing from a heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. I'm telling you, there's something here about a lifestyle change. So some of you, you're going to be cutting things off. You're going to be cutting off bad habits, things that you are addicted to. You're going to be having a like cleaner diet, for instance. Um, so you're changing things in a positive way. You could be cutting people out, but most importantly, you are healing from a difficult childhood you're healing from difficult relationship a painful breakup okay that's what i'm seeing for you let's go ahead and see what the tarot has to say let's start off with some career and finance just like general life stuff and then we will look into love so let's see what do we have for gemini please someone rising venus for october what do we have for gemini please you know to be honest gemini i feel like i already filmed your reading but it was like so dark when i was filming it and i did not use my ring light so i feel like i never posted it like to be honest i think that's you know what may have happened but let's see you guys let's see what do we have for gemini please career life all that stuff please give it a moment take a moment to give this reading a thumbs up i appreciate the support okay let's see what do we have for gemini career finance all that stuff Ooh, business opportunity, business ventures, your work is paying off. You're literally getting paid, okay? Some of you are getting paid for work that you have done in the past, so money was owed to you, okay? But I'm getting actually recognition, so don't be limiting yourself about what it is, like, your reach, okay? You actually can 
manifest and experience more than you realize okay with the ace of pentacles for some reason this is not really an attention card but i feel so some of you are going to be celebrating a milestone an achievement you could be getting an award you're getting recognition for something okay we have the seven of swords someone is sneaky someone is a liar someone is a backstabber we gotta watch out okay so so some of you you're being offered something you need to contemplate it contemplate a bit more before you accept this offer for some this is a purchase someone has someone is shady shady business okay so if you're making especially if you're making an important purchase um do you know look at you know sources options all that stuff keep your receipts someone could be trying to scam you we have the eight of wands okay the energy around you is picking up a lot of you are going to be very busy this october i'm also getting oh my god the star card are you serious i told you you're getting more recognition oh my god so some of you could be going viral online some of you your clientele could be celebrities there's something here about celebrity status um a, a public image so you're revamping your website you're revamping your instagram um, especially if you're an entrepreneur like you just have this good image right now okay so yeah you're attracting people from all walks of life you are gaining momentum okay and like i said there's emphasis here on celebrities emphasis here on collaboration um networking okay emphasis here on things being done online so an online business something is digital i love the energy i could not i can't okay so people envy your success gemini what else is new okay people envy um how innovative you are they envy that you are a trendsetter okay things are manifesting for you quite quickly and people are going to get the impression that things happen to you very easily okay that blessings just just wash over you very easily now i'm not surprised because this is the essence of gemini but also uh jupiter the planet of luck abundance expansion is in your sign so it makes sense that you're like feeling all of this now what's the real tea is that you know jupiter like i said is about to station retrograde very soon and anytime we have a retrograde in any planet the energy is inverted okay like inverted right so we are looking within ourselves so i'm feeling as though with the karmic energy of jupiter retrograde well the karmic energy of jupiter period but now it's a retrograde which is also karmic in and of itself you know just looking within ourselves realigning recalibrating i feel like it's like this success this you know you going viral or whatever this success is well earned okay gemini so you're making something look easy and people could be you know giving the evil eye all right people could be like jealous of you and envious of you okay so keep that in mind but it's like they don't know what you had to sacrifice, what you had to give up, um, what you had to fight, like the, the energy that and, and the, the loss that it took for you to get to this point. Okay, anyways, that's just a random download that I got, but I love this for you. We have the star card, we have the three of wands. Okay, so emphasis here on like travels and like foreigners. So you could be gaining a reach from all over the world, all over the globe. Something here about foreigners, okay? So if it's not about you traveling to a completely new destination within the next three months or three weeks, okay? Because some of you are going somewhere very far away. Um, it's just about, again, your reach. You guys could be very popular in another part of the world okay or you're reaching an audience from another part of the world you're blowing up in something very niche okay and then we have the four of cups it's just kind of your energy right now kind of just meditating keeping things to yourself okay you're being very stubborn about something as well gemini when are you not the gemini's that have specifically if you have Taurus placements very stubborn but that goes with the whole outdated thinking there's something that we're just no longer holding on to okay you're over it when a gemini makes up their mind and it's over something they're over it okay let's go ahead and look into your love life i am gonna do a more thorough like october love prediction for the air signs if i haven't already i feel so i did no i haven't it was the fire signs anyways those two in my lovers here on patreon i'm going to be posting more love reads real soon again if you're interested in joining patreon the link is in the description box below that's where you get early ad free access to all my youtube content and then plus like free readings i go on there and i film readings just like this and they're just not accessible anywhere else let me know if you guys would be interested in me having like a membership on youtube because i know that patreon is not um accessible in any it's just every country so if you are interested in me like posting you know what i post on patreon on an exclusive membership platform here on youtube um so you don't have to make like a new account or anything let me know in the comments below because i've been kind of like flirting with that idea but i'm just not sure if you guys would be interested if you guys don't care you don't care anyways 
let's look into your love life. Sorry, I'm rambling because I'm like tired, but I also have like a lot to say. Gemini. All right, let's see. Gemini's love life, please. Next. I keep trying to say next seven days for October. What's coming up for Gemini, please? New love, new crush, new horizons. Okay, someone's, someone's scared to reach out to you. Or I'm seeing someone scared of like being... Like someone is... Uh, Someone's hiding behind like their material life or they're hiding behind like their career and finances to kind of like get away from love. Like someone is just not wanting to focus on how they feel about something. So they're just like a workaholic. OK, so you could be attracting someone that's like emotionally unavailable is what I'm getting. Someone that I, they're just scared to act. But it's like their impulses also come out here and there. And there is passion and chemistry between the two of you. Very random, but that's just what I'm getting, okay? MCC on the number seven and number eight. We have Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. This is um, Earth energy, okay? So Taurus, Capricorn, um, Virgo. But other than that, let's see. More, more Nine of Wands, Queen of Cups. Ugh. I'm just feeling as though just lean on your friends right now and don't take dating too seriously. There could be com communication coming in, specifically from a water sign or air sign that you'd be wanting to hear from. I do see like a brief exchange. I'm also seeing like brief like love encounters. Okay, so you may be like falling head over heels from someone, but I'm not sure if things are actually going to be long lasting. That's just kind of what I'm getting. I'm just getting a vibe of someone that's very in and out, very all over the place. They could be younger than you. Okay, very playful, childlike. Okay, don't take much seriously. Um, but there's also something here about a feminine slash mother figure, mother energy here. So it feels as though there could be a mother figure possibly or like another feminine like a friend a female friend that could be like interfering with your love life or with your person possibly okay i'm kind of just getting all kinds of messages but on deck queen of pentacles we have the hermit card yeah someone ghosting you and then we have the uh nine of wands you're ghosting them or someone is ghosting you someone just really needs time to themselves to heal okay to just recalibrate and uh gemini if this is you like I just feel so you need some quality time with yourself, Gemini, or quality time with your partner, no distractions, nothing. I feel so we need to have clarity when it comes to a situation, when it comes to a relationship. Like, hey, like, what are we doing here? Because someone is just not consistent is what I'm getting. Someone's not consistent with their communication. And I feel so you're just getting bored. You're getting restless. I'm guided to ask your angels of love and romance for advice. This was a specific love read so i do apologize if it doesn't resonate it was kind of all over the place but i'm doing my best let's see what is coming up here but yeah with the hermit card someone could be ghosting okay virgo energy too of course i did say there was earth energy we have finances and career like i said someone's financial or career situation is affecting your love life or this is you we have flirt we have let your friends help you, right? And then we have express your love. Yeah, so I feel so some of you just need to vent to your friends, spend time with friends, hang out with them. If your friends are inviting you anywhere, please attend because you could be meeting someone through your friends or while you're out with friends if you're single. But yeah, a lot of you just need to call up to your friends. You've been in hermit mode. You haven't been really like letting people in, Gemini. So just focus on your friendships right now. Again, vent to your friends. Just, I don't know. But also express your love. So you have to make time for the people you care about. You need to prioritize what it is you care about and who you care about. Because like I said, career and finance could be getting in the way of things. So it feels like there could be like a scheduling issue here. I don't know, Gemini. But there's just something here about being more intentional. So letting people know that you love them, even your friends, family, okay? And making time for them. Okay? Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get some... I'll do some self-care messages for you. We might as well. All right. Let's see what's coming up for Gemini, please. Ah, for October with self-care messages. We have beauty ritual. Okay. So some of you, like, you've been needing, you've been putting something off in terms of your beauty. Maybe getting a haircut, your nails done. There's something here about making you feel good about the skin that you're in. Okay. Just be more intentional when you're taking a shower or taking a bath. Just take that extra minute in the morning or at nighttime to just feel good about yourself inside and out because presentation is everything, but we also want to make sure that we feel good. Okay. Bottom of deck sound healing. Some of you, I feel as though there's emphasis here on sounds that are therapeutic, whether it's frequencies, 
meditations, uh, but also music. A lot of you have a love for music. You have a passion for music. So um, it's very healing to either create art or, yeah, okay. We have aromatherapy, okay. So certain smells evoke certain feelings, okay. So candles, incense, whatever floats your boat, perfumes. I feel so you smell something and you think of someone, okay. I'll pull another card. We have positive affirmations. So speak to yourself very kindly, Gemini. Be mindful about the narrative that you have in your mind. Your thoughts shape your reality. So yeah, keep that in mind, okay? Um, I love you, Gemini. I wish you all the best. I'm sorry I was low energy. I'll do my best to come through with another reading for you guys this October. Um, more energy. Probably a love reading I'm going to do. Stay tuned for that. You don't want to miss it. So turn your bell post notifications so you don't miss a reading. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.